Question 11. It says solve this equation to find the value of y. Well, y is a mystery number, as it is in any equation. And it's our job to try and find what the value of y is. So that when you add 12 onto y and you times this by 8, remember there's an invisible time sign between the 8 and the bracket. It means y plus 12 times by 8, or 8 lots of whatever is in the bracket. So there's a times there, times 8. So we're trying to find y so that when we add 12 onto it and then times it by 8, we get 100. Easiest way to do this is to set up a number machine. You should always start your number machine with the letter you're trying to find. And then you should describe what is being done to that letter. Well, we've always got to do the brackets first. So y add 12. Then we're multiplying the whole bracket by 8. So y add 12, then times the whole thing by 8, and out pops 100. All we've got to do now is reverse it back the opposite direction. Because if we can reverse everything, we will get back to what y is. So, the opposite of multiply by 8, on the reverse arrow will be divide by 8. And the opposite of add 12 will be subtract 12. All we need to do now is reverse this through. So the question is, what is 100 divided by 8? Well, to divide by 8, you can half it, half it again, and then half it a third time. And that will always help you to divide by 8. So 100 divided by 8, half it is 50, half it again is 25, and half it again is 12.5. So we've got 12.5. 100 divided by 8 is 12.5. Now we need to continue along this arrow. Subtract 12. So 12.5 subtract 12 is 0 0.5. So y equals 0 0.5. Or you could put in a half. But that is the value y. A half or 0 0.5. It is always a good idea to check that your answer works. So if y is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 add 12 would be 12.5. So the bracket would come to 12.5. And 8 lots of 12.5, is it 100? Well, we could just do a quick column method to check. So 12.5 times 8. 8 fives are 40, put the 0 in, carry the 4 underneath. 8 twos are 16, plus that 4 is 20, plus the 0 in, carry the 2 underneath. 8 ones are 8, plus the 2 is 10. Make sure your decimal point goes in, so that says 100.0. So indeed, the y value has got to be 0 0.5. That's the only way of getting back to 100. So y equals 0 0.5 or y equals a half is correct.